Migrating from a Mac to Ubuntu should be rather easy. There are more similarities between Mac and Linux than there are between Mac and Windows. Nevertheless, Mac OS X and Ubuntu are still quite different and require some learning before you are able to do everything you did on a Mac with your new Ubuntu desktop. In this video, I will try to present the main similarities and differences for you to focus on what you need to learn and make an efficient transition. The scope of this video is only to expose the differences. You will learn in more depth how to use your computer during the rest of the tutorial. The first difference you will notice is that the dock that is by default at the bottom of the screen on your Mac is located at the left on your Ubuntu desktop and takes advantage of the fact that most screens nowadays are much wider than tall. The Unity launcher on the left is very similar to the dock. You have a set of applications that you can launch with one click and all open applications will have an icon there with a white arrow to show that they are active. The icon at the top of the launcher, the one with the Ubuntu logo on it, is the closest equivalent to the spotlight feature in Mac OS. The top bar hosts the menu of the applications and the applets just like on Mac OS, except that the equivalent of the Apple menu is located on the right rather than on the left side. If you have the HUD interface installed on Ubuntu, you will see that pressing the ALT key will open a search bar to look for menu options, similar to the search bar located on the HELP menu of Mac OS. Among the differences between the two operating systems, you will see that your system and folders are organized differently on your disk. When you open the home folder, you will see that your main hard drive is called computer instead of Macintosh HD. Inside your computer, you will see several folders that you will gradually get to know. The most important one is the home folder, where all your personal files and settings are stored, like the users folder in macOS. Another important difference that is worth mentioning is the way to install software on GNU Linux. On Macs, you will often download an installer, mount it and run it in order to install applications. Although it's possible to install applications downloaded from the Internet on Linux too, at the beginning you will be using the Software Center. It works exactly like the App Store on Mac or iOS. We will talk about installing new applications during the tutorials. Last but not least, the Alt Command Escape shortcut to launch and force quit applications does not exist on Ubuntu. Usually, a pop up will launch automatically when an application does not respond. If this does not happen, the easiest way to quit unresponsive applications is to press Ctrl F2, type Xkill, and click on the window you wish to force quit. Alternatively, you will have something similar to the Activity Monitor, called System Monitor. With this program, you can spot and exit unresponsive applications without having to shut down the computer. In the rest of this tutorial, I will also talk about equivalences and differences between operating systems, but most of the time I'll be talking about how Ubuntu works. I hope this was helpful to better understand your new environment, and please write a comment if there are things you would like me to add to this video. Check out the links below this video for more details of the migration process as documented by the contributors of the Ubuntu help.